Think of a smaller but more dangerous animal that was the leader of its time in the ancient pole. What would you think if I told you that there was a polar bear lizard in Alaska in a Cretaceous period that went against everything we know about how Tyrannosaurs evolved? Today, we're going to learn about the amazing hunter Ninoxaurus hoglundi. His life story starts with a few bones that have been found all over the place and turns into an interesting look at life in the north in the past. Welcome to the Cretaceous period. Today, we will learn more about Ninoxaurus hoglundi, which is one of the most interesting and unique Tyrannosaurs ever found. This small but dangerous prehistoric animal lived in what is now Alaska and made it its home. Come learn about how the polar bear lizard was found, its shape, its habitat, and how it acts. If you're a dinosaur fan like me and want to know about different types of dinosaurs, subscribe to the channel right now. We're bringing you a complete video series about every type of dinosaur with the latest information. Our next video will delve into the most shocking facts about Nanixaurus hoglundi, so stay tuned. Around 69 million years ago, during the Cretaceous period, many different kinds of tyrannosaurs lived in the northern hemisphere. Each of these predators changed its size and shape to fit its surroundings. One of them was the Nanixaurus hoglundi, a small but dangerous predator that did well in Alaska's harsh conditions in the past. The story of Nanixaurus starts in northern Alaska in 2006 at the Kekaktikosi Quarry. Anthony Fiorillo and Ronald Tykoski, two paleontologists, found pieces of a head that were initially thought to belong to an Albertosaurina gorgosaurus. But a closer look showed that it was different from its relatives in important ways. In 2014, Fiorillo and Tykoski officially described and named the new species Ninoxaurus hoglundi, which means polar bear lizard, and was chosen to honor the generous forest hogland. Parts of his skull were used to make the holodip of Ninoxaurus. These included the nasal branch of the right maxilla, the front of the left dentary, and parts of the skull roof. Even though there were no postcranial remains found, these bones tell us a lot about the dinosaur's size, structure, and how it evolved. Based on these bones, paleontologists think that Ninoxaurus's head was about 60 to 70 centimeters long. Ninoxaurus was a smaller tyrannosaur, and it was thought to have been about 6 meters long altogether. The Ninoxaurus was a fully grown animal, even though it wasn't as big as dinosaurs like Tyrannosaurus rex. The phylogenetic arrangement of Ninoxaurus is one of the most interesting things about it. The study of phylogeny revealed that Ninoxaurus was a developed Tyrannosaurid, meaning it was related to Tarbosaurus and Tyrannosaurus. The deep grooves and sharp ridges on the maxilla and nasal bones, which show a strong interlocking structure typical of fully grown Tyrannosaurus, confirm this classification. Why though? Was Ninoxaurus so much smaller than its better known relatives? To understand this, we need to look at where it lives. When Ninoxaurus lived, it was in the Prince Creek Formation, a place where the seasons changed a lot, with long periods of darkness in the winter. The harsh climate probably made Ninoxaurus smaller since smaller animals need fewer resources to stay alive. Let's learn more about Ninoxaurus' habitat and how it behaved. Because it lived in the farthest northern parts of Lurimedia, Ninoxaurus had to learn how to deal with the unique problems that came up there. Based on fossils of similar species, Ninoxaurus probably had feathers that kept it warm in cold weather. But did these feathers do something else besides keep them warm? It's possible that Nanuxaurus, like modern birds, used its feathers to show potential mates that it was healthy and full of life. Nanuxaurus was a hunter, and it probably ate a lot of different kinds of food. Cetaceans such as Patrohinosaurus peratorum and Hadrosaurus lived in the Prince Creek Formation. An adult Patrohinosaurus would have been too tough for Nanuxaurus to handle by itself, but it might have been able to take on children or weaker individuals. It would have also been a good hunter because it had great eyesight and an amazing sense of smell. It could find food from far away. When it comes to speed, we don't have a lot of specific information about Nenoxaurus's running skills, but we can guess that it was pretty quick based on its size and shape. Nenoxaurus wasn't as fast as some smaller theropods, but it could have used short bursts of speed to sneak up on food or get away from bigger animals that were after it. Let's talk about how big Nenoxaurus was. As was already said, it may have grown to a length of about 6 meters. Compared to other Tyrannosaurs, this one is pretty small. However, its small size was probably a way for it to survive in its surroundings. Ninoxaurus is thought to have weighed between 500 and 1,000 kilograms, which makes it a light but strong hunter. The finding of Ninoxaurus has taught us a lot about how Tyrannosaurs have changed and evolved over time. Even though only a few fossils have been found, Ninoxaurus shows how diverse and flexible these ancient hunters were. The fact that it lived in Alaska's hard climate shows that Tyrannosaurus could do well in a wide range of conditions. Also, Nanuxaurus is an interesting example of how being alone in natural stress can cause evolution to happen. The specific difficulties of its environment probably had a big impact on how it looked and behaved, 
which makes Nenobsaurus a great example of how species have changed over time to adapt to new conditions. Even though there aren't many fossils of Nenobsaurus yet, new discoveries and ongoing study may help us learn more about this interesting species. Each new discovery could help us learn more about the animal's body, behavior, and how it interacts with its surroundings. In conclusion, the polar bear lizard, Nenobsaurus hoglundi, shows how tough and flexible tyrannosaurs were. Its discovery not only helps us learn more about these prehistoric predators, but it also makes us want to learn more about the mysteries of the Cretaceous era. Thanks for going with us on this trip into the world of Nenoxaurus. If you liked this video, please subscribe to our channel to see more interesting videos about ancient times. Remember to share, like, and comment. Thanks for your help, and we look forward to giving you more fun material. Take a look at the amazing things from the past until we talk again.